Today I'm going to give you a beginner's guide on how to shoot better concert photography. <laughs> Tip number one. Now this is for local shows and smaller venues. You could try it at a arena, but I think this tip would be most helpful in a smaller situation. So you go to your Spotify, you open it up. If you're a member of Spotify, there's a concert tab. You click on your concert tab, look at all the shows that are in your area for the week, for the month, for the next two months, I think. You go to the band that you wanna see, that you wanna shoot, that you're interested in, the type of music that you wanna be a part of. Look at the band. If it's a huge band and they have a giant following, maybe they might not answer their messages. So you go to the one that's opening. Go to their about page, look at their Instagram, click on their Instagram, and then go to messages. Send them a direct message, say, I am Jesse DeYoung, I am interested in photography, I would love to come shoot your show on Friday. Can you give me, can you put me on your list and can you give me a photo pass? It's so simple, all they can say is no or not respond, but I've gotten response from this and it really works. Tip number two, you got your pass, you're going to the show, you're on the list, what camera gear am I gonna bring? For a few reasons, I like to use prime lenses. And one of the main reasons is they generally have wider apertures. So at first when I was shooting shows, I had an older camera body. I had a 1DS Mark III and the ISO only went up to 3200. So that was my max. So the way that I combated that was just having primes that would go down to 1.8 or 1.4 and then had my ISO at 3200 and my shutter speed I adjusted, I'll get to that a little bit later. But I generally will bring a 24 for like the wide shots because you're in a smaller space, like you're not in a giant venue, so you're getting pretty close to these bands. So 24 is a great wide angle lens. A 50, I use that for medium shots where you're getting a two shot of a singer and a guitarist or a bassist and a guitarist or, you know, few different band members or just one band member and you're getting a full body shot in a vertical. And then I bring a telephoto lens, which is an 85 up to 135. I like to bring my 135 just so I can get that tight close up shot of the singer and you know, some detail shots of like the guitar and the guitar player and, and all that. I would recommend using a full frame DSLR or mirrorless Either one, doesn't really matter. The newer the body now, the better the low light ISO is. Tip number three. You're in the venue, you're sitting in front of this band, maybe they probably haven't gone on yet, but you need to start to set up, think about your settings on your camera. I like to shoot in manual mode, so that way I can have complete control over the image. My shutter speed, I generally will not go below 1 25th of a second, depending on the focal length. If you have a really long lens, 120, even 1 25th of a second, you might get motion blur from camera shake. But if, if you're lower than the 135, if you're down in the 50 to 24, 1 25th is a good place to start and be for the whole time. My aperture, I like to set at 2.8, just so it's not so shallow of a depth of field that I miss focus. I wanna have a little bit of room in focus. So I keep it at 2.8. Sometimes I go up to F4. Sometimes I go down to 1.8 or something, depending on how, the, how bright or dark it is. My ISO, I start at 1600 and work my way up to 6400. It depends on the venue. Some places have really great light, some places have not so great light. The higher the ISO, like if you're at 6400, you're gonna have some noise in the shadows, in the dark parts of the image. It's okay, but the lower you go, the less noise you're gonna have. Tip number four, how to shoot the band. What shots should I get? How, what angles do I need? So I would recommend when you first get there, shoot the opener just to practice your settings. Learn what your camera is capable of doing. Learn what your different lenses look like. Um, and 
just stand in the front. Wait there for the for the main act to come on and get that first wide shot of all the band working together, playing music for everybody. Change your lens, use your 50, use your 135, get some close-ups and stuff. Once you've got that, after the first song, start to move around. Do not stay in one spot because you want variety in your shots. You want to shoot from the side so that you're not having the singer with a microphone always in their mouth. You want to get those close-ups of the guitarist. They're going to come to the monitors and put their foot up and you can get a good angle. And if you actually know them and they know you're there, they're going to kind of play to you and you're going to get some really unique shots that way. That being said, try to shoot the audience. If they're, if it's a full house and the fans are loving the music, they love what the artists are doing, shoot their hands up in the air, show what the impact that this band is having on people's lives. I think those are very interesting shots to get. A lot of people don't think of that because they're just focused on getting shots of the artists, which is really important. But after a while, you know, if, you, if you're able to, especially in the smaller venues, you're allowed to shoot the entire thing. So just have fun. Bring an on-camera flash and shoot in the crowd sometimes. You know, you might get in trouble, but um, after the show's over, you could do that. I've done that plenty of times. And just have fun with it. Move around, change your lenses. If it's a, if it's a packed house, show that. Like, show that all these people came to see this band. I think that's will set you apart, and the band will definitely share those. One show that I went to recently, the singer went into the crowd with her microphone and the fans just surrounded her. And I quickly put my flash on, put my 24 mil on, and then just fired from the hip, put my hand above my head, kept shooting, and I got some really great shots. Tip number five, and this is post-show. So how do I share my images once I've taken them? If you use the Spotify trick and DM trick, you are going to have direct access to the band and will be able to send them a Dropbox link. I like to edit them down. I Sometimes I shoot a thousand. I will never send a band a thousand photos. They are not photo editors. Some of them might be, but I just assume they're not. So I will edit down to my 25 to 50 best shots, sometimes even less than that and just put them in a Dropbox link. One to two megabytes I export them at, so it's social media only, and upload them, take the link from my Dropbox app, share it in my Instagram DM, and then send a nice message. I really enjoyed your show. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, if you're ever in town again, hit me up. I'm, I'm happy to come work with you. And there's the end of your exchange. You never know, in the future they might invite you backstage and you'll have all access to their bigger show because bands do grow all the time and you'll be fresh in their mind because you did this nice thing for them and you weren't asking for money. Some, I mean, some people might want to, I don't just because I really like doing it as a hobby. And that's it. Those are the five tricks that I use to get into the show. Those are the settings I use. Let me know in the comments below if you have a better way to contact a band or a venue or just any other tricks that you use. I, I'm really curious to see what other people are doing. You know, I make these videos just because I want to share with you what works for me. And I know that there's a thousand ways to do what we do. So bye for now. Keep shooting. I'll see you in the next video.